Welcome to the draws for the Go Ahead Ireland Dublin Senior Club Championships. We'll have the draws for seniors three, two and one in hurling and we'll have the draw for senior one and two in football. Now overseeing the draw is Elaine Dolan, chair of the CCC. She's from uh, Ballantyre St. John's. John O'Brien is the vice chair of the CCC. He is of name Olaf. Uh, Ken O'Sullivan is the vice chair of the Dublin County Board. Uh, he's representing well, he's re representing the county board, but obviously he's a, a cooler man himself. And of course, James Caffrey joins us also from Go Ahead Ireland. Now, before we start, um, I'd like to send my condolences, and I think I'm speaking on behalf of everyone in the Dublin GA Gaelic Games family here uh, to the family of the late Larry Ryan, who sadly passed away last night. Um, a legendary chemical croaks and Dublin GA figure, and we're thinking of everyone in the Ryan family and indeed everyone who wears purple and gold. Let's get into the draws, along with uh, David Dazio Callahan, former Dublin hurler. David, how are you? Oh, Shane, good. And yourself? It's that time of year again. Is there always a bit of a buzz for players when the draws are being made? Yeah, actually, funny enough, I, I bumped into a few lads uh, within the last week and they were actually inquiring to me about it. Did I know when, when it was coming up? So I think there was a, there's always that excitement just to see the groups and, you know, I suppose the, the weather's getting better and people are thinking about championship a little bit as well. So, yeah, there's certainly that appetite and the buzz to see what, what, what the draw throws up and, and bring a bit of excitement about the place, yeah. Does this put a focus on you in training when the draw is made, knowing who your championship opponents are going to be? Uh, I think it does, yeah. I think people, uh, it, it certainly gives that added focus, you know, and some teams will be going quite well throughout the league and they'll be building nicely and they'll be really looking forward to, the, to kicking into championship. Other clubs might be struggling along. They could be down a few players. They could be, you know, they could be really, really looking forward to, to getting a few lads back from injury and, and kind of, picking up their season for the start of the championship and maybe getting a bit of success and momentum going and, and using that as a, a you know as the, as the part of their season where they can really kick on as well. So all teams can be in different stages and different kind of phases and kind of, you know, missing bodies or missing players. So I think everyone kind of views this as maybe a time to, to, to just try and get everything back together and get a real focus on and, and look forward to kind of, you know, hitting the ground running in the group stages. Well, I know all the players have been working and training hard and playing uh, league matches and all that, but this is where the focus and the countdown really begins uh, when the draw is made and you know who you're facing in the championship because that's the big one. That's what everyone wants to win. Now, just to remind you of the format in the Senior 1, 2 and 3 hurling uh, championship, the um, there's two groups of five. The top two teams, as in the winners of each group, go to the semifinals and the second and third place teams go into the quarter finals um, and of course the two finalists in senior two uh, get promoted to senior one and um, there are a few more details uh, to it and we'll get to that in a while and obviously you can check out uh, the format and all the information you need on the Dublin GA website and by the way just in case you're wondering about um, the lower divisions and uh, all those championships the draws are about to be made for those as well and they will be available uh, on dublinga.ie very soon let's Get into the draws. We will start with senior three. So we're about to draw group one and group two in a senior three hurling championship. The bottom team is, by the way, fourth in each group will go into a relegation playoff with the loser going down. So every game matters in these groups, um, David. And that, 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 that's important. Scully Connell. Scully Connell drawn out. We'll get back to that point in just a moment, but because there is something at stake for everyone going into the last round, that means that every game matters. Kula 2. They've had strong oh, in the last couple of years, Kula, both their uh, first and second, if you want to put it like that. But uh, many of those second team players would fancy a run in the first. They're not far off it either, so a lot to prove to those players. Oh, Great tradition of love, Nave Olaf. Great facilities, great club building. Rahini. Well, they've always been a great club, but uh, building in a hurling sense now in senior three. Rahini. These groups taking shape, looking tough. St. Sylvester's. All the time building St. Sylvester's. Nave Marnog. Improving every year.
Aaron's on. Aaron's on. Nafina. Nafina. So strong in both codes. Not the only ones who can claim that kind of tag and title amongst these clubs. Uh, Dotsie, what do you make of those groups? Yeah, yeah, it looks good, O'Shane. I suppose the, the thing that jumps out at me with the, I suppose, the format in general, um, there'll be a lot of clubs there who'll be looking on there and they, they will be feeling that they can win this championship, you know? Um, and that's what makes it kind of, that's what that's what we wanted out of the structure as well and the format. So that, I think that's a, been a good success. And if you're looking at it there, you know, I suppose the, the semi-finalists last year, I think were Aaron Zoyle maybe and Rahini, you know, so they would be two very strong teams. Aaron Zoyle have had Connor Donahue with the, with the dubs this year and he, he progressed massively. They've had underage guys as well with the 20s and the minors as well. So they're, they're doing a lot of good work there. And Rahini also, they've started, uh, they're flying in the league. They're going, I think they're unbeaten as well. So um, they would be two teams that probably, you know, would be itching to get to, to jump up a division to, to, to senior two as well. Um, but look, besides that as well, you've Satanta, who are you know, always hugely competitive. Um, you know, and they've all of I spent a year out there as well. They have a great crop of players there. They get it together, they'd be dangerous. And if you look at Sylvester's and Nave Marinog as well, I think they, they've come up from intermediate and both of them teams will fancy actually going on and winning this as well. You know, Sylvester's yeah. have been playing in a high division for the last number of years and they couldn't get out of the, the intermediate, you know, they were so they were so they were delighted to get promoted up into the senior three. So they'll they they have high hopes as well. So and they'll be, you know, momentum from last year as well. So yeah, it promises to be Usually competitive there with a, with a number of teams fancying themselves, you know. And we've seen there's an awful lot going on in all of those clubs and uh, in the intermediate and junior finals last year. We saw huge crowds. So there is an interest and the fans do follow uh, these competitions, senior three, senior two, senior one, etc. Let's go to the senior two draw. All of these teams looking to get up to senior one. And of course, there's a fine line. You could end up battling to get into senior one if you reach the quarterfinals because you battling the drop to see your team if you finish fourth or fifth in the group it is david cutthroat isn't it absolutely yeah and i suppose that's what makes the that's what has the appeal there as well and as i said uh, running up to it we saw some dramatic uh uh you know final day kind of games last year as well and i suppose that's what we want in, in all our championships to, to kind of keep that competitiveness right throughout you know I think there was smoke coming out of Derek Ryan's calculator Craig last Kieran. year. We were trying to find out what exactly was happening and who was going down and who was going up. Crave Kieran, first out of the hat. Kimball Crooks, two. One. They will want to bounce back. Kimball Crooks, two. Drawn out. Yet again, Dotsie, I failed to make either senior panel and Crooks. Yeah, you won't be surprised by that. Your time will come. <laughs> Well, at 42, I'm running out of it. Look at Stephen Cloaks in there. He'll be all right. <laughs> so sad to see Trollier have to retire recently with that injury. Volunteer St. John's. Regime. Absolutely. Speaking of St. Finbar's, Volunteer St. John's. Uh, we're going to hear from a very famous former Volunteer St. John's player in a while for the football draw. St. Jude's. St. Jude's. They came so close to winning senior one in recent years, now battling to get out of senior two. That's how tight it is. That's how competitive it is. Tom Tarf. Tom Davis. Thomas Davis. Nave Barog. Nave Barog. Last but not least, Bally Bowden, St. Enders. Bally Bowden, St. Enders. The second team from there. But there isn't too much difference. And you could say the same of Crokes between the first and the second teams. Uh, those are pretty tough looking draws, very tough looking groups. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Oshin. And similar to the, the last championship there as well. It's, it, there's a, a lot of teams in there who will fancy, them chance, or fancy their chances of kind of going on and winning this as well, you know. And, I suppose the, the, the prize is massive there to get up to you know to up to the senior one championship and the prestige that comes with that as well for a club. So look, you'll obviously have Crave Kieran and St Jude's will be massive dis massively disappointed after getting relegated last year. So they'll be very keen to bounce back up straight away. So Jude's haven't been going too well in the league so far, but then again they'll be one of them teams who are trying to 
to kickstart their their year kind of with, with the championship you know so you're looking at the other clubs there as well now Barrow obviously a very good year winning last year and a great victory over Ulert de Bala in Leinster as well maybe unfortunately didn't go on and win Leinster but you know building a, a squad there with with good lads on the Dublin squad now as well and underage players as well and Clantarf obviously have done massive work as well so I think they were beaten at the, themselves and Ballantyre were you know very close to getting promoted they were beaten in the semi-finals last year they'll be itching to get back to, the, to that stage and maybe go go another step further as well and look you'll always have the Ballybodens and the Crokes second teams we, we know the talent that they have and the young players that they'll be blooding in them teams as well and so they'll be dangerous opposition for, for any of the teams as well so yeah, massively competitive. Hopefully, <clears throat> Trollier obviously had an injury as well, so we'd be all hoping to see him back um, featuring for the club if he can. Uh, it would be great as well, so I'm sure he can light up the championship as well. And, yeah, it makes for, makes for a very competitive campaign as well for all. So the Senior 2 and Senior 3 draws have been made for the go-ahead Ireland Dublin uh, Club Hurling Championship. Let's get to the Senior 1 draw. This promises to be another great season. Kilmacook Crokes, of course, the defending champions, but they were pushed all the way by Nafina in a very exciting final. So let's have a look at who will play who and who will be in what group. Okay. These are two seeds. Kilmacook Crokes. The defending champions. And Nafina. Well, as the two teams, they avoid each other in the group stages, but you wouldn't um, back against the meeting at some stage. What a game that could be. Kilmacock Crokes, of course, uh, reaching the provincial final last year. Luke and Sarsfields. Luke and Sarsfields, always a threat. They have such great players. St. Vincent's. St. Vincent's. One of the great powerhouses of Dublin Hurling. St. Bridget's. Vincent and Nafina were getting that as a, a local derby in the uh, Bally Bowden St. Enders. Second group. Bally Bowden St. Enders. A team you know well, Dotsie. Yeah. Kula would probably have been disappointed with their showing last year, but they're more than capable of bouncing back. They still St. have Oliver Plunkett's on road. Plunkett. Whitehall, Whitehall Colin Kill. Whitehall Colin Kill. Back at the top. Um, Fogs. And Fogs, who joined them there as well. Those two were in the senior two final last year. So, Dotsie, what do you make of those groups? Yeah, yeah, it looks interesting, Oshin. So, I suppose, uh, yeah, I suppose, look, obviously, Kill McCord and Nafina, um, the last couple of years, we've they've been, you know, well picked out as being the two strongest teams in the club championship and they've backed it up getting to the, the finals as well. So look, Kilma could have come out on top. Um, so they'll, they'll want to they'll, they'll want to be top in their group and uh, it's going to be challenging enough as well. You'll, you'll have Luke and Sarsfields there, I think under, under Charlie Carter this year as well. Um, there'll, be, there'll be a bounce in them, I'm sure. And then you've got Bridget's, Kula, Whitehall, as you said, Kula will want to bounce back from, from last year's semi-final defeat as well. So Whitehall, Column Kills, straight up from Division 2 as well with Fogs. The, the two of them will really want to, to keep their momentum going and, and, and rip into this championship as well. And I'm sure they'll, they'll want to be avoiding any sort of relegation uh, threats or playoffs or anything like that as well. So, yeah, look, ultra competitive there as well. And I suppose you're, you're just kind of, you just want to see as well, maybe that, you know, when the championship starts, who's around, who's available. And, you know, if you look at Kilmacud, they've been down a few kind of, few you seen Dara Butler heading off last year after the Leinster final. Lushian O'Rourke has been away as well. So I think he's due to be back for the championship. So uh, Davy Crow has had a, a nasty injury as well. So hopefully he might be a bit off it as well, but hopefully he's returning. So look, it'll be it'll just interesting to see what 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 players are available for, for all the all the top teams as well. And um, obviously got Vincent's are going very well in division one. Uh, Pat Gilroy and Mickey Whelan involved there as well, so something strong building there potentially, and they bring that on into the, their championship campaign as well. So very interesting. Look, Bally Bowden are always going to be there. They're they're getting younger players into the squad and they're mixing them with the experience that they have. Very disappointed with their semi final 
defeat the Croaks last year. They'd be they'd be mad to get back to that stage and, and right the wrong there. It was a very poor performance. So they they'll be there to plunk it again, have have um you know, they had a massive victory against Craig Clear on to stay in this championship last year. They've got great players, Ushin with the, the underage Dublin squads as well coming up and Dean Boland is in flying form as well. So they'll be hoping to maybe to do a bit better and build on last year as well. Um, so that they won't be easy for anyone similar to Fogs as well, up from the senior two as well. They'll be really hoping to kick on and, and make an impact in these championships as well and this championship. So uh, it look promises to be promises to be really, really competitive, yeah. Yep, should be very, very good. Just before I let you go, Dublin in action against the Kilkenny on Saturday night. No doubt you'll be watching that or heading down to it. Yeah. And they are capable of putting in a good show here at Dublin, aren't they? They won't fear going down to Kilkenny. They won't, but look, the reality of it is, I suppose Kilkenny have kind of burst Dublin's bubble the last few years in league and championships, so they've kind of deflated their season in a lot of it. So they're really due, you know, that one of these days they're going to have to really, really put it, in, put it up to them and, and take it a step further. So you'd be hoping... Uh, Saturday is the day that they really bring a big, big performance. They should be confident, should be up after beating Wexford. So this is the day to maybe, you know, these are the dip, this and Kilkenny in the following two weeks are, are the big games to really see where, where Dublin are at. So hopefully a massive, massive uh, performance in them. Okay, okay. David Dotti O'Callaghan, thank you very much for joining us for the Go Ahead Ireland Dublin Senior Club Championship draws. We made the draws for Senior 1, 2 and 3 here. Outside of that, uh, the draws will be made a little bit later and you'll be able to check out uh, who got who uh, through the Dublin GA social media channels or, of course, at the website dublingaa.ie. So let's move on to the football championship. And we've got the draws for Senior 1 and Senior 2 here. And I'm joined by uh, former volunteer and, of course, Dublin player, Coleman Goggins. Coleman, how are you? Hey, Oshin, how are you getting on? I'm very, very good. Hard to believe uh, we're you... back at this stage again, isn't it? <laughs> it, it? It is, it is, it is. Do you get a bit of a buzz when the draws are made, even now as a, as a former player? Uh, I, I think the like Dublin Championship is always something you look out for. It's exciting across the two groups because of the way it's structured now that you're you're getting competitive games across uh, Senior Football Championship 2 and Senior Football Championship 1. So I think that makes for a, a great... Um, End the summer when everything kicks off. Hopefully, you know, Dublin might have secured an All-Ireland with a bit of luck and then we can go into the club championship with a different view of things. So we'll see how that all plays out over the summer before we get to this stage. I'll just remind people of the format for the football championship. The top two teams qualify for quarterfinals. Uh, the bottom team in each group uh, goes to the relegation playoff with two playoff losers going down. Uh, two finalists in Senior 2. The two finalists in Senior 2 are promoted to Senior 1. And that's the same across the divisions in Dublin and just like the hurling while we had the senior one and senior two draws on live here and um, you'll be able to get the detail of the rest of the uh, grades junior intermediate etc on Dublin GA uh, .ie and through all the usual Dublin GA social media <laughs> channels right let's make the draw of course uh, as always Elaine Dolan chair of the CCC is overseeing St. John's Donald Bryan Ken O'Sullivan and James Caffrey of Go Ahead Ireland and away we go with St. Anne this is for St. Mary's senior football championship two. St. Mary's Nave Marnog. Nave Marnog. Fingal Ravens. Fingal Ravens. So each group has a team. Let's add a second. Round Towers Clondalkin. Round Towers Clondalkin. Nave Olaf. Nave Olaf. Going well in football and hurling. Great facilities in Nave Olaf. Clontarf. Clontarf. Jack McCaffrey back with the dubs. He's some weapon for Clontarf to have. St. Patrick's. As well. St. Patrick's. St. Moore's. Familiar to Coleman now. St. Moore's. They'll go into group one. Oliver Plunkett's. Plunkett's into group two. Fingalians. Fingalians. Aaron's Isle. Aaron's Isle. Nave Barrow. 
they have Baroque. So that's group one completed. Ryan Towers Lusk. Ryan Towers Lusk. Ali Bahal. St. Bridget's. And that completes the Go Ahead Ireland Dublin Senior Football Championship 2 draw. It says an awful lot about the strength of the club championship, particularly at the senior grade, Coleman, that you look and you see a couple of teams that have won Dublin in recent years, a couple of teams that have been competing for Dublin, as in the Senior 1 title in the last couple of years, who are now fighting to get out of Senior 2. Yeah, really interesting draw. I was just looking beforehand there. I think 12 out of the 16 teams are, are North Dublin, North Side Dublin. So there was always potential for a couple of big derby clashes there. I think in Group 4 there, Fingal Ravens, Pats and Donna Bate is an interesting one. And then obviously with Bridget's within that group who who were close last year in terms of semi-final placing in it. Uh, and then you, you flip across to Group 3 there where you have a really loaded North Side group there across the four teams. Uh, Clontarf, who were you know, so dominant or so impressive in the Senior 1 Championship a couple of years ago. Finn Gallions also were pushing hard last year to try and get out of, of uh, Senior Football Championship too. And Marin Oaks, who just have a great track record in, in you know Dublin club football, I suppose. And then into the, the other, the top end of the draw, I suppose you want to call it that. Uh, you know, I know, you know, Anne's, you know, so synonymous with Dublin GAA for many years. And then Nave Morog have come up through the Intermediate uh, Championship. You know, and Moores, who were filtering around the quarterfinals last year again, and Terrors Clondalkin. I mean, that, that that's a really competitive group in terms of Group 1. And then into to Group 2, just looking across it, you know, Plunkett's own rule would have been looking last year to hopefully have pushed up or get through into Division or Senior Football Championship 1 and missed out on it. But then there's no easy game there. You look at Olives Marys and, and a young group in terms of Round Towers Lusk, who did so well in Senior Football Championship One, have dropped into two. So there's there's lots going on across all of those groups. So um, you know there's there's maybe no dreaded group of debt there, but there's certainly no easy group that any team will look at and see that they've a, a handy route to a quarter final, really competitive. And I think that's the real draw of the championship. The fact that it's broken into to 16 senior football championship one, 16 senior football championship two, you really get competitive groups. And a lot of teams there, as you rightly said, looking to push back into Senior Football Championship 1, but it makes for an uber-competitive uh, Senior Football Championship 2 to look forward to later in the year. Well, we saw St. Vincent's getting out last year, and uh, it was a job of work to get out, but they're back in the top grade. Let's find out who they will draw in their go-ahead Ireland Dublin Senior Football Championship 1 uh, group. Them and many mm. others. <laughs> this is always interesting. This is always entertaining. This is always intense. Ballyboden St. Enders. Ballyboden St. Enders. Kilmacud Crooks. AIB All Ireland Club champions, along with Kilmacud Crooks, the current champion. Thomas Davis. Thomas Davis. Finalist in recent years. Ian Murphy. Nafina. And Nafina. Always capable, you feel, of making a charge. Ballymun Kickhams. Ballymun Kickhams. I was about to say they'll have been disappointed with last year, but given the talent Saint they have, they won't win. They'll probably consider a bad year. St. Sylvester is back at the top, having got to the uh, Senior 2 final last year. Of course, the two finalists in Senior 2. Lucan Sarsfield. Lucan Sarsfield. St. Jude's. St. Jude's. So, just like the herders have come so close in recent years, but just fallen a Temple little Oak short. That is to say, they won't do it eventually. Temple Oak Sing Street. Scary's Harps. Scary's Harps. Cooler. Cooler. A dual club. St. Vincent's. Cool, of course, beaten by Crokes last year. Gave it a good rattle, though. St. Vincent's back at the top. Volunteer St. John's. I'm just trying to see what uh, Coleman's reaction Castle is. Castle Knock. Can't quite see his face on the screen. Castle Knock. Rahini. Rahini. Who are well capable of mounting a challenge. 
and the Whitehall, Masters, Colm Kill. Whitehall and Colm Kill, who are at the top, as in they are in Senior 1 Hurling and Senior 1 Football. It's a great time for the club. Coleman, what jumps out at you? Yeah, again, really interesting draw. You look at, you know, you think of the quarterfinals last year, Bally Bowden, Volunteer St. John's in the, the one group there. Uh, Whitehall, who had a great season last year in terms of the, where they reached, but Nafina then, who look at the senior championship uh, potentially as a as a missed opportunity and how it finished up last year with their game against Kilmico Croaks. Uh, and then in, into, you know, group three with, you know, Davises and Sarsfield. Sarsfield's always have been coming as a team and you wonder at some point, is everything going to click in terms of the young players coming through for them? And and Kula as well, who probably pushed so hard last year in terms of the championship and would have been unlucky not to come through on their big decider uh, against Kilmico Croaks. Uh, and then obviously, you know, the, the Dublin champions are in group two there. So that's not an easy draw for any of the teams who are with them. So Sylvester's who are, who are back into the at the top table, so to speak. Cass and Locke, who were champions, not so are uh, finalists not so many years ago. And then a tough maybe draw for, for Scary's Harps in terms of having to go and play against the likes of Castleknock and Kilmacud, but great opportunity for them to test themselves against obviously the best team in, in Dublin. So, you know, again, and I, it's a point I've made already, because of the way the structure in it, it just makes the, the group so competitive. And you can see where teams will start to, you know, nail in on where they can potentially pick up points, how they can strategically manoeuvre through the group to try and get to that elusive quarterfinal spot and then give yourself a chance of trying to land the Dublin Senior Football Championship. But, you know, the seeded Teams, Ballyboden, Kilmacud, Davis and Nafina are, are going to obviously take beat and then you're factoring the teams behind that Ballymun so, so strong when they're able to get everyone onto the field. I mentioned Sylvester Stewart, so you mentioned yourself and obviously Vincent's, whose pedigree in Dublin Championship over the last few years has been very strong, might be a bit of a rebuild in terms of some of the younger players that are coming through, but certainly, you know, well within their capability to, to win championship matches. Uh, and then that, you know, third group there, where teams would be chomping at the bit to try and nail down the, the spots to get out of it. So, look, really interesting. I think it looks for a, an exciting so our, a championship ahead across the both championship draws. Yeah. So, looking forward to it as it goes. Okay. Just before I let you go, Coleman, Dublin in All-Ireland Series action over the next couple of weeks. It's um, something that we're not used to because, of course, this is the first year of it. Is it something you're looking forward to? Yeah, I, look, it, it's, it's great that there's games coming down the track and we all want more games. It's probably a little bit... Um, light in terms of the competitiveness it's not knockout football so you don't get that same buzz around as you would when you know there's something at stake in terms of winning the game and moving on to the next round that said I think Dublin's performance the last day was you know a great progress and from where they were against Kildare obviously puts them into good stead looking to the, the this round robin series of games and it's all about building towards hopefully a quarter final spot if they're able to achieve that and then you know pushing on from there so Look, it's great. Summer football is it's coming into summer again. So we can start to get into that summer vibe uh, <laughs> rather than watching matches in April. So hopefully we'll see uh, yeah. more and more sun and more and more good games. Coleman's Gaurav, Mila, Mila Mahakas, oh, thanks yeah. for joining us for the draw for the Go Ahead Ireland Dublin Senior Football Championship. The draw, of course, overseen by Elaine Dolan, John O'Brien, Ken O'Sullivan and James Caffrey. James Caffrey of Go, Go Ahead Ireland. Uh, all draws are being completed by the CCC this evening, by the way. That's obviously the... Uh, intermediate uh, junior and all county uh, to come as well and they'll be posted on dublinga.ie this evening as well as on the Dublin GA social media channel so if you're wondering who your, your team got in the intermediate junior county leagues etc you will be able to find out very very soon we're looking forward to the go ahead Dublin senior championships as well as the intermediate as well as the junior as well as everything else uh, there's a bit of a busy summer to come first but that will fly by and soon enough we'll all be back in Parnell Park and the various grounds around the capital to check out our clubs and our teams. That's it uh, from everyone here. Thanks to you for watching and uh, we will see you at a go-ahead Dublin senior football or hurling game or even any other grade. Um, they'll all be good. Thank you and goodbye.